this is the B2 assembly block video and we have the chart right here in the book. It is a very straightforward situation here. We've got two colors and um, in this pie section and then the outer section that makes it into a square and every section has got an opposite thing. So you're going to pick one to be background, focus fabric, background, blah, blah, blah. And then if this is background, this is focus fabric and so on. So talking about the basting, what we're going to do is I'm going to take each straight edge and glue base that. And I'm going to do all these the same. So let's say I do this one or this, you know, whatever one I do first, it'll probably be this one and then this one. I'll do the same thing on every triangle because you want them to be exactly the same so that when you put them in the center, they will spiral into a flat section and you'll have like a, a spinning effect in the center. Um, for these, or for the extra, for the curves, excuse me, I'm gonna gathering stitch base this. So I'm gonna gathering stitch this and then thread base it to the piece to maintain the integrity of the outside curve. For these glue based straight edges, and for this, I'm gonna do a notch or two, probably two, from the edge of the fabric to just before the paper. So I'm not going to cut all the way down, but I'm going to do a notch or two. I might be able to get away with one, but I may do two. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But every one of these I'm going to do that so then I can then glue base this into the inside. The notches relieve the stress on the fabric pulling. So I am going to go ahead and baste all of these at this first at the same time because then I can start assembly with all of my pieces prepped. So I started glue basing my outside pieces. What I realized real quickly is that if I don't change up my basting on the focus fabric versus the background, every one of these corners is going to clash. So right now I have clashing tags. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the order of which one of these goes first on, on one of them. So I'm going to take this off I'm going to take this off this way and this other way so that I can then baste with uh, the long side first and then the short side. So I'm going to do one way on the black, so that's going to be short side first, then the long side. And on the red, I'm going to do long side first, then the short side so that my tags are not clashing. Okay, so I've got all my straight edges basted and I've cut one notch here and I'm going to, I think that's just, that's enough to deal with it. So I'm going to cut one notch in each of these inside curves and finish basting those and then I can gathering stitch these outside curves. So I've got all of my pieces basted. I've got my gathering stitches on the curves and I've notched my inside curves. Now the next step is to make these into one piece. So I'm going to take two pieces and put them together into one piece so that makes a pie piece. So I've sewn together all of these pieces into pie pieces. So now the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to pair them up and make them into squares. So I've assembled these into squares and now I'm going to pair up the squares into rows. So I've paired up the squares into rows and now I will connect the rows together. So I've attached the two halves together and now my B2 block has been completed.